good afternoon all of you today we are going to learn about the phytoplasmal disease the study of it can includes in the study of plant diseases what is a disease disease it is the interaction between host parasite and the environment or this is it is also defined as the any departure from the health presenting marked symptoms malady illness or disorders the diseased plants are distinguished by changes in their morphological structures or physiological processes which are brought about by the unfavorable environmental conditions so the disease there are several diseases that is the phytoplasma in your syllabus the phytoplasmal diseases then viral diseases bacterial diseases and the fungal diseases the first disease that is the phytoplasma what is phytoplasma the phyton means the plant phyton means plant and the plasma means the fungus forms this it is the fungus forms that is the organism it is the fungus form it is formerly known as the mycoplasma it is primarily uh, formerly it can also known as the mycoplasma but recently the phytoplasma and mycoplasma they are separated and mycoplasma it can includes the organism it can produces diseases to the plants as well as animals but the phytoplasma it can produces diseases only to the plants also and therefore the they can be included in phytoplasmal diseases that is the organism which can causes diseases to the plants and these organisms they are very small spherical filamentous insect they are non motile facultative parasites and they lack the chlorophyll as well as cell wall but they having the triple membrane an example of this phytoplasma is the gsd gsd that is a grassy shoot disease of sugar cane then another disease is also formed by the phytoplasma to the plants that is little leaf of brinjal white leaf of sugar cane then phylloidea of sesame phylloidea of parthenium parthenium congress sesame til tila madle phylloidea congress madle phylloidea they can also includes in the phytoplasma also the phytoplasma are new in the plant pathology since 1967 most of the plant diseases under yellow group of viruses have been reported to be caused by the phytoplasma and the phytoplasma they can causes yellow diseases to the plants in host plant as well as in the bodies of insect vectors and they are pleomorphic pleo means many and morphic mean uh, sorry pleo means crystal and morphic means forms this phytoplasma they are the pleomorphic they are crystal bodies and they can produces diseases and they are found in the sap of the plants they are also infected and infection it is caused by the insects and insect factors they can for the diseases the, the phytoplasma shows various characters the organisms they are non motile and they contain both dna and rna it has no rigid cell wall but the cells are made up of lipoproteinaceous that is lipoproteinaceous means lipid as well as proteins then they multiplies by binary fission as well as by budding they can vary from shape that is they are spherical as well as filamentous forms and they are parasitic and saprophytic they are present in the phloem cells of the host plants the mycoplasmas they are present in the phloem cells of the plants also the phytoplasma 
they can produce disease to the sugar cane and the name of that disease is the grassy shoot disease of sugar cane the each disease can be studied by using the various points that is their introduction symptoms causal organism transmission or disease cycle and control first we can deals one by one that is introduction of this grassy shoot species of sugar cane the botanical name of sugar cane is saccharum officinarum and the saccharum this disease it is called as the grassy shoot of sugar cane because the instead of formation of the normal canes the total plant body they become changed and their forms or appearance like the grass like structure is formed the normal structure of the canes it can be changed and the whole plant body they can be looks like a grassy appearance or grass like structure is formed therefore the disease is also known as the grassy shoot disease of sugar cane the this grassy shoot disease of sugar cane is one of the most serious disease of sugar cane and it is widely spread in maharashtra then it can also found in other asian countries and in india it is found in maharashtra it was first detected in 1949 this disease was also found in andhra pradesh bihar uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and tamil nadu this is about the introduction then symptoms what are the symptoms the symptoms are external visible expressions on the host in a pathogenic conditions and the pathogen after initiation of disease in the host shows visible expressions visible expressions means disnare apnala je disnare je kai plants madhe je symptoms ait lakshan ait tana apan kay manto symptoms and gsd or the plants which can be infected by grassy shoot disease of sugar cane it can shows various types of symptoms they can <coughs> the first symptoms the most pronounced symptoms of the disease is grassy appearance of attacked shoots grassy appearance grass like structure is formed the normal canes or shoot is not formed the size of the cane is also reduced size can be also reduced the number of tillers are more tillers means photova photova jo hai to jast praman madhe hoto and the size of that tillers can be reduced the size of the nodes and inter nodes can be also reduced and the color of these plants can be also changed they become pale yellow in color the <coughs> gsd is characterized by production of number of thin tillers from the base of affected plants base pasun tillers asha anek tillers phutve jasta yetat ani tyachi size je ti size ekdam lahan hote tyachamadhe internodes nodes internodal distance kami hota size reduce hote and the plants or tillers they become yellow in color leaves becomes narrow and looks like the grass like leaves if the crop is infected in early stages of growth the loss may be up to 100% 100% loss can be also explained when the plant they can be infected in early stages the thickness of the shoot is like that of the grass shoot so such type of symptoms they can be observed on the plants then causal organism which is the causal organism here the causal organism means the disease causing organism the phytoplasma formerly it is known as the mlb mlb means that is a mycoplasma like bodies but now recently it is also called as the phytoplasma the causal organism is a phytoplasma <coughs> and it is also named as candidatus 
कैंडिडेटस फाइटोप्लाज्मा कैंडिडेटस फाइटोप्लाज्मा The causal organism is phytoplasma. Formerly, it is known as the MLB, that is mycoplasma-like bodies. But recently, it is also called as the phytoplasma, that is Candidatus phytoplasma. It is the causal organism. These organisms they are associated in the sew cells. Where the sew cells are present in the phloem. In the phloem, these sew cells they can be also present and they can infect the plants there are two types of the phytoplasma that is spherical and filamentous bodies the spherical bodies they are 300 to 400 nanometer in diameter and filamentous bodies are 50 to 53 nm in diameter the transmission or disease cycle transmission means transfer of the plant pathogens or the causal organism or causal agent or disease producing organism from diseased plant to the healthy plant it is known as transmission or disease cycle means the cycling of the organisms from the diseased plant to the healthy plant or transfer of disease from diseased plant to the healthy plant it is also known as transmission or disease cycle and the gsd was transmitted through the sap or that is the insect vector vector means the agents and here the insects are the vectors of the disease they can be transfer disease from the diseased plant to the healthy plant and the insects they can also suck the sap with the help of their proboscis and they can also transfer the uh, disease from the diseased plant to the healthy plants then <coughs> disease is also spread through the rotund sets rotund sets rotund means rotund set sets means seeds रटून मीन्स खोडवा खोडवा आपण खोडवा कशाला म्हणतो तर पहिलं पहिल्यांदा शुगर केन कल्टिवेट केला त्याच्यानंतर तो कटिंग केला तोडला तो तोडल्यानंतर ज्यावेळी कारखान्यात घालून नंतर त्याच फील्ड मध्ये पुन्हा जो शुगर केन वाढतो न लावता त्याला जो फूट येऊन असे तीन चार वर्ष जे विदाउट कल्टिवेशन एकदा कल्टिवेट केल्यानंतर पुन्हा पुन्हा आपण त्या ठिकाणी शुगर कन घेतो त्याला म्हणतात रटून सेट्स म्हणजे खोडवा रटून सेट्स खोडवा अँड दी के डिसीज दे कॅन बी ऑल्सो ट्रान्समिटेड थ्रू दी रटून सेट्स ऍज वेल ऍज फेन दी नाईफ व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर कटिंग दी शुगर केन इट कॅन ऑल्सो ट्रान्समिटेड दी पॅथोजेन्स from the diseased plant to the healthy plants then last point is the control how the disease can be controlled the first control is the healthy cane sets can be also necessary the sets sets means the seeds which can be used for cultivation the sugar cane is generally propagated by vegetative methods and stems cuttings they can be used for propagation and these stems they are used they are known as the sets and the sets which can be used they are known as the seed sets and healthy seed sets is the most important and necessary for control of disease the selection of the sets from the diseased area should be avoided rotund sets are not used for planting the canes खोडवा जो आहे तो खोडवा कल्टिवेशन साठी वापरायचा नाही पहिल्यांदा जे कल्टिवेट केलं जातं शुगर केन त्याला सुरू म्हणतात अँड दी सुरू सेट्स दे कॅन बी युज फॉर कल्टिवेशन दी टेम्पररी रिमिशन ऑफ द डिसीज सिमटम्स आफ्टर ट्रीटमेंट विथ टेट्रासायक्लिन टेट्रासायक्लिन इज अ अँटीबायोटिक अँड दी धीस अँटीबायोटिक कॅन बी युज अँड इन टू दॅट अँटीबायोटिक cane sets they can be also deeper and for 100% control of gsd 
both in plant crop as well as the rotund crop the <coughs> that is cane seeds they can be exposed to the hot air at 54 degree centigrade for 8 hours in an air tight chamber air tight chamber madhe uh, hot air so tyamadhe pass karayche ani 54 degree centigrade la he sagle cane seeds tya chamber madhe thevayche आणि 54 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ला हे सगळे पॅथोजेन्स जे आहेत ते किल्ल होतात देन क्रॉप रोटेशन आलटून पाटून पिक घ्यायची देन हॉट वॉटर ट्रीटमेंट दी 50 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड फॉर 120 मिनिट्स हे जे केन सेट्स आहेत ते हॉट वॉटर म्हणजे हॉट वॉटर घेज 50 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड त्याच्यामध्ये हे केन सेट्स 120 मिनिट त्याच्यामध्ये बुडून ठेवायचे एक्सप्रेस मिनिट म्हणजे दोन तास दोन तास त्याच्यामध्ये ठेवायचे आणि ते पुन्हा कल्टिवेशन ला वापरायचे तेवढ्यामध्ये ह्याचे जे सगळे पॅथोजेन्स आहेत ते सगळे किल होतात देन सीड ट्रीटमेंट विथ फायव्ह हंड्रेड पीपीएम सोल्युशन ऑफ लिडरमायसिन बिफोर प्लांटिंग लिडरमायसिन इट इज अँटीबायोटिक अँड धिस लिडरमायसिन फायव्ह हंड्रेड पीपीएम फायव्ह हंड्रेड पीपीएम च लिडरमायसिन अँटीबायोटिक आहे ते अँटीबायोटिक प्लांटिंगच्या अगोदर वापरायचं सी ट्रीटमेंटसाठी सो इन दिस वे द डिसीज ग्रासी शूट डिसीज कॅन बी ऑल्सो कंट्रोल